What's up, everyone? I didn't even intend on doing a video on this part, but last time I had the GRX4 Monster Van out, I started getting a heavy grinding and low gear. And look at this. You can't barely even turn the transmission now by hand. So I'm guessing it's locked up in there pretty good. When you go to roll it, I mean, that... Those big tires should catch and roll freely. So I've got a whole mess of gears and bearings, and I'm not really going to do anything on the rebuild. There's a ton of videos on that out there, but I just wanted to show how badly messed up the old monster van was. And I'll probably do a couple, like if it's if I tear it open and the gears are really bad or something, I'll probably do a little quick section on that and just show you how much damage was done because this thing has seen many, many miles and many, many states. So got to get it going. And my job just got more difficult. Uh, I've never had to take these drive shafts out before. I've just sprayed some WD-40 on them and go. I bought this truck used several years ago and just been running it. But it looks like somebody has busted off the end of their M2 in there. So now i got to figure out how to get that grub screw out. That should be fun. Okay, with some tapping fluid and a little bit of uh, patience... A little bit of cussing I was able to drill clean through well, there now I can remove that and it looks like I, I still have the shifter the shaft in place so that should still be good hopefully I can reuse that this end eh, I could probably retap it but I'll probably see if I can either find another end laying around because I have a bunch of spare parts or just buy another one well this has turned into a challenge I had to use heat and an SAE uh, Allen wrench to get the other side out, the other drive shaft, and then it took me channel locks and prying with a screwdriver to get the back off this transmission case. These bearings are just destroyed. The gears look terrible. It is just an absolute mess. So, <laughs> turned out to be a little bit more work than I thought I was going to get into, but it looks like it definitely needed it. Okay, I got the main transmission apart, and oh my. <laughs> and these are the bearings from the other side I think why it was grinding and uh, came to a halt was the bearings themselves were getting caught in the gears so more more sanding and prying and we'll get all new gears and bearings in it and hopefully be good to go alright I have successfully got all the gears done I got two more to go in there but that's just when you put on the end cap but look at this mess those bearings were destroyed in there. The gears weren't horrible, but they're they're dirty. But the, those bearings were absolutely destroyed. Get this thing bolted together the rest of the way and uh, grease it up and slap it back together. So I got lucky and was able to reuse this. Since I drilled this out with the same drill bit I used when I do my M3 taps, and I got it just on center. I didn't damage the threads very much. So I just used uh, my M3 tap, cleaned it out, and now it is uh, thread nice and smooth. Get my, my grub screw right in there and good to go. And a while ago, I picked up these slipper clutch eliminators and this steel spur gear and pinion. They're the same size as what's in there, so I'm just going to swap out to that steel spur gear. And we'll get those bolted up. Everything else is back in place. And we should be able to take this thing out and see if it works. Okay, we are back together. I've got her locked and low. See how the transmission works. So far, so good. Had to get this monster back in working order. As I said, this is, I'd probably even call it my channel mascot. Everybody recognizes it. It goes everywhere. It has conquered every course at every event I've been to.
Uh, this thing's probably testing the weight limit of this bridge. You can hear it creaking. I like it though. Nice, smooth, slow. Oh, come on, monster. Yeah, that's how it's done. That's why I love this monster van. It was just one of those magical builds that came all together properly and has just kept me with hours of constant pleasure and amusement. That clutch eliminator seems to be doing its job. Alright, seven foot in the air now. I did the nine million point turn off camera. It takes forever to turn this big bus of a vehicle around in a small area. All right, everybody, I think it's as good as new. Thanks for watching. The monster is back in business, just destroying everything it comes across. And now we're ready for Beat the Creek. So thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day, and I hope to catch you on the next video.